Hello guys and welcome to the moon. My name is Carl and I'm going to bring you this DaVinci J15 collaboration. Bro, welcome back to the office. Oh, good to be here, man. Oh, well, you know how I am. In the pipe, five by five. <laughs> I know, I know. No need to ask anymore. I know. That. How you doing? I'm, I'm ve very good, bro. Yeah, so what were you doing the last weeks? You were like, you were, you were out and about, weren't you? Were I? Yeah, I was flying around a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, in Sweden. I was um, um, celebrating my little brother's 18th birthday. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. How did he like it? How was his birthday? He loved it. Mm. He was super happy. He's 18, but he's mentally disabled. So he's more like a 10 year old, or like maybe eight year old, or even maybe, maybe younger in like mentally, but he, he gets so happy from, from, uh, from all kind of uh, like um, celebrations and, and family interaction actions. And I actually, um, I, I went to Sweden, um, without telling him so he it was a surprise awesome awesome man yeah. if you want if you do you have like any videos with him in your uh what, lifestyle channel um i do but uh, i didn't upload it yet okay. <laughs> stay tuned guys oh considering that our turkey video that was mm, funny yes it was <laughs> guys you have to go and see me and da vinci when mm. we went to bodrum in turkey to uh to um uh, to a hotel that was a funny funny video yes it was just yeah. sure. anyways we're going to be talking about kyc and aml and uh which exchanges that the that have no kyc and aml and why you would want it and why we maybe even want kyc right so we're going to be talking about that so uh do you know do you know what KYC stands for? Know your customer. So know your customer rules and regulations. So what so those rules and regulations just all it means is that you, they need to know your name, date of birth, right? And uh, possibly your address, your local address. Now, um, not all cases they need your address, they just need who you are and need some sort of form of ID. Mm. Just like a bank would need a formal ID. Right, so that's level one. Usually, that's considered level one of KYC. Yeah, and so there's level two, which they require some sort of utility bill. Now, I'm going to teach you guys something. Mm. Right, not saying you should do this. Mm. <laughs> not saying you should do this. But you know, back in the days when I was growing up, mm. and that was a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Oh wow! When the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Keep going. Okay, so we used to try to get into clubs when we were on, on their age, right? In in, mm. in can in Canada, it was actually only eighteen in or nineteen, mm. actually nineteen to drink. Mm. Nineteen, but we still want to drink when we're sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So how do you manage? Do you think we managed to do that? Well, we'd make fake IDs. Right? And it was up to the the owner of the establishment to determine if the ID was fake or not. I maybe did this also. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. 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 <laughs> I also wanted to, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and so, you know, maybe, maybe some people might uh, in the future want to do that with exchanges. I don't, yeah. I don't know if you'd want to do that. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you can probably do that, and then. Uh, mm -hmm. But they aren't IDs today like a little bit more um, uh, but, sophisticated. So yeah, it's like uh, yeah, but the Chinese people make excellent copies. Oh, they do. Yes, you can buy them online. Lots, mm. lots. There's lots. Of them. Ah, so that's what people do, probably. <laughs> yeah. So you know what? You can buy a whole bunch of Binance KYC accounts, right? Oh. Um, and, and and do spoofing, right? And how is it done? What would fake Chinese IDs? That's how they do it. Oh wow! Right, and we're they... giving really bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should not upload this. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, <not. laughs> I don't know. Well, that's what other people do. Not that's what other. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think. Um, I, I think. Personally, I mean, I did KYC on uh, on Bybit. Yes. I made so KYC bad. on uh, Binance mm -hmm. because I I trust them. Yes. You know, That's but fine. but I don't want to do KYC 
for like a random random something you know because i then you have to trust those people because mm -hmm. They will have your identity in, in your. They they will literally have access to your passport copy and maybe even your address and everything if you send it to them. So yeah, exactly. this is not so good. No, it yeah. is. So you have to be careful that way because there's been a lot of leaks, right? For example, uh, some of my uh, commonly used passwords is actually available on the internet right now because of uh, all the leaks and cracks and stuff like that that has happened in the past years. So I don't use those commonly used passwords, mm. but they're there. In fact, people have sent me emails saying, hey, I have your password, so I've seen everything, and you better pay me X, Y, Z in Bitcoin. I'm like, mm. whatever. I give them, I said, read between the lines. Right. <laughs> yeah. See these lines? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, okay, so. KYC, know, know your customer levels. They have to do it. They have to act like a bank. And then there's other rules after that. Right, so if mm. if you pass the KYC, it might not be over. Your nightmare might not be over. Mm. If the exchange supports AML, do you know what AML stands for? Anti money laundering. Yes, those are anti money laundering rules. Is not for laundering money. Where if you're a criminal, you're like a drug dealer. Mm. You're not allowed to, to actually transfer money here. No, 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 no. It's not for that. No, <laughs> so, no. It's to ensure that you pay your taxes. <laughs> and so they want to know where, with anti-money laundering rules, they have to know where the money you deposited into the exchange came from. Did you pay taxes on that money? Right? Mm. And if you didn't, right, well, out you go. Yeah. And so that's the rules of anti-money laundering. So what they do is you have, you have to prove where you got the money. And if they don't believe it, if they're not satisfied with what they tell you, right, that you have to you have to find proof and give it to them in order to cover how you got the money. Right? So if you got it from inheritance, you gotta prove hmm. that the inheritance did occur, right? And the dates that it did that you did tell them that it occurred, and it has to line up. So make sure you don't like make up stuff because uh, yeah, it's gotta match up with what you tell them in the first round of AML. Mm. It's a pain in the butt, trust me, because I, you know what, I'll tell you a story of my AML stories, it's mm. horrible. The Bittrex, the, 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 the exchange that is now bankrupt. Bitrex. 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 Yes, got bit wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I remember them, so they, they were around like in the very early stage exactly. when I jumped into crypto like 2017, that's where I was buying shit coins. Yes, I, so was I, yeah. and I was, it was completely free to open, to move money around. I deposited, I only made one deposit in the account before the, the, before the, um, the AML that they came after me for. Mm -hmm. they, they came after me first for KYC, then mm -hmm. AML, but when they got to the AML part, it was a nightmare. Oh my yeah. God, they froze my account and they were saying, okay. You need to prove where you got this, got the money that you, mm. that, the, that you have in this account. It was have, it was around ten million dollars, right? Oh, yes. that's a lot. Yes, exactly. So I was freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> did you get it out? Yes, I did. Oh, but good. here's what they asked, right? They they first asked, like how how I got the initial deposit, mm. and they wanted to know how I got up to ten million dollars, and I explained that the initial deposit came from mining, crypto. Right, Bitcoin, because mm -hmm. I only deposited Bitcoin into one time, at that at that point in time when they were asking for the AML. I had one deposit, and I moved the account from like twenty thousand dollars to ten million, right? Trading the the sh shit coin. Wait, you took twenty thousand dollars to ten million? Yeah. How did you do that? Using the little lady strategy. No. Yes. No. And I'm, I'm not joking. No joke. thousand yes. dollars to ten million? Yes. Okay, that's the topic of next video. <laughs> that's the next video topic for sure. Bro, did you ever make a video called twenty thousand to ten million? No, I haven't. Why? I didn't think about that. Fuck, that's a great <laughs> video, man. So, anyways, what happened was Going on with the rest of the story, they wanted to they wanted to prove me to prove how did I get to ten million dollars? I'm like I traded on your exchange, mm. and then you know what they asked? 
They asked for all the trades. Yeah, but that, <laughs> they should have the trades. <laughs> you should ask them. <laughs> That's stupid. No, I had to download the trades from their website to mm. give to their AML compliance officer. Strange. I know. Yeah. It was annoying. So I, I think these things it's just it's it sounds like you know legacy stuff like back you know banks like these like old systems like it really is um it's annoying so I, i'm personally very annoyed with the uh, with kyc um i still did kyc now on bybit and binance because if i don't then i can't use it so i have no choice exactly. um but it is annoying i i have to agree you know it, yeah. it's not nice um i asked them multiple times is it possible can you just like make an exception for me like please but they said no, 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 no. It's it's uh, it's very important for them if they want to have like a specific license in, in like yeah. a specific country. They they need to do it like that. Exactly. So um, it's unfortunate. So they have to do it, and 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 it's sad because it makes it very difficult for you to operate with them, and especially with companies that just that. What happens is they they don't even tell you about the AML. They don't tell you that they're going to do AML with you only if you deposit over a certain amount. Like over fifty thousand, over mm. hundred thousand, it depends on the, the jurisdiction that they're from. That they have to do AML only after you deposit. Mm. So that means your account gets frozen the second you get over that point, point. and so you can't withdraw. It's mm. horrible. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy, actually. Yeah. Mm. So okay. Um, summary: Should people do KYC or should they not? Well. <clears throat> I, w I think that you, it's best that you do KYC, but I know that a lot of people out there don't have any ID. They don't have enough ID, so there are options if you don't have any ID. Mm -hmm. We've mentioned a few in today's yeah. video. <laughs> By the way, uh, for people that do KYC on Bybit, I think they're giving now like $100 as a bonus for doing KYC. If you want to do it, I have a link down below to Bybit. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. You might as well take that three hundred dollars and make a trade. I'm sure you're gonna give them some nice trades, right? In the next little Definitely. while. So yeah, uh, that can turn into a nice big profit if you uh, take some trades. So with that said, right, um, KYC, I think it's gonna be a necessity in the future going mm -hmm. forward to, because they they have to slow down crypto. I see many people are going from Bybit over to Bitflix, and I have a link down below to that as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's just providing alternatives really because. Bybit is my my favorite exchange. Like I I love Bybit. Mm -hmm. I'm I can't see there. I'm trading there. Um, but for everyone who who don't want to be on Bybit anymore, many people go to Bitflix. And um, I think it's up to twenty thousand um, dollars withdrawal per day or something like this. There you go. That's yeah. pretty good. That's that's what Bybit has been for years. But now Bybit Bybit is doing KYC uh, upon sign up, which is like very early stage kyc it's um yeah makes it tough for for people to to trade if they uh, yeah. it is what it is have they done aml on you and bybit yet i don't you know i don't because I don't they, so. they'll ask you where you got the money yeah no they didn't do that actually mm -hmm. they only uh, did a full kyc like a passport um mm -hmm. address and and all of that stuff yeah yeah yeah. Wait until they do AML. That that's going to be a nightmare if they ever get to that. You think point. they will do that? They probably will have to eventually mm. if they want to move up the ranks, right? Mm. Of uh, in, in does like eToro do that? I I don't know. I've never used eToro because they're like fully regulated. They probably do. Yeah. After you put put in a certain amount of deposit, yeah, they will ask you for okay, where to get the money? Yeah. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Just, just the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some things will never change. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. damn! Yeah, I'm not gonna sing, right? Because he's the singer. I'm not me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I think that was a very long video. Yes, it is. Yeah. Should we? Should we? And let's wrap it up. All yeah, right, let's guys. wrap it up. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you gained some some sort of knowledge from this. That's why we do these videos. We want to educate you provide you with the information you need to survive this this crypto attack basically that's what this is this it KYC is, yeah. and ML it's about attacking crypto do you think FTX was a huge inside job and they did it the government did it 
uh, like they created maybe FTX and then collapsed it just so they can regulate crypto or 100% yes you think yeah oh that's another video <laughs> <laughs> okay now we have two videos we can make in the future exactly. $20,000 mm -hmm. to 10 million and FTX was an inside job mm -hmm. just like 9-11 yes there's lots of information proving that yeah mm-hmm so there was 9-11, COVID, and now FTX. FTX, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, da Vinci has a very, very nice YouTube channel. If you didn't subscribe already, you have to go and check it out right now. Uh, links down below. Da Vinci J15. Yes, that's it. Yes. And uh, also my social media is all Da Vinci J15. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.